Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary is intended to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Wednesday, the 11th day of May 2022. And our topic for today is, In Time of Peace, Prepare for War, Part 3. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, our Lord and our King, the Blessed and Most Glorious One, we thank you for your blessings upon our lives. Thank you for daily loading us with your benefits. We thank you for once again preparing your word for us. We ask that as we go into it, you would cause our minds to be fruitful, to understand as you speak to us, and grant us the grace as well for obedience. Help us to take advantage of the time of peace to make adequate preparations. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 7. Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 7 reads, And Moses was an hundred and twenty years old when he died. His eyes was not dim, nor his natural force abated. Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 7. And our scripture reading for today is from the book of Joshua chapter 14 verse 7 to 12. Joshua chapter 14 verse 7 to 12 reads, Forty years old was I when Moses the servant of the Lord sent me from Kadesh Barne to espy out the land, and I brought him word again, as it was in mine heart. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed the Lord my God. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance and thy children's forever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old, as yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now, for war, both to go out and to come in. Now therefore, give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day. For thou heardest in that day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be, the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today one more time is In Time of Peace, Prepare for War, Part 3. And in the body of our devotional today, our Father and the Lord says, There are many people in the hospital now who would not have been there if only they had been eating healthy foods and exercising regularly. They ate whatever they felt like eating and did not do any exercise because they didn't seem to be having any health challenges, only to find out later that a disease had been growing inside them all the while. In the time when you are feeling healthy, that is when you should pay good attention to your health. For those whose health deteriorated to such an extent that they landed in the hospital, it may be too late for them to go out and exercise. They can only pray for God to heal them, and I am quite sure that when they get better, they will begin to eat healthy. I join my faith with whoever is reading this from the sick bed now, be healed in Jesus' name. I know some Christians will quote 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 8, which reads, For bodily exercise profited little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is, and of that which is to come. They interpret the verse above, to mean that spiritual exercise is the only important thing to consider. That passage, however, did not say physical exercise does not profit at all. It says it profits little. That little profit must not be ignored. A lot rests on that little, 
as you cannot be as spiritually profitable as you would be if you were sick. God needs your body to help him fulfill his will on the earth. The more Christians live healthy, the more work he can use them to do and the longer they can do the work. God was able to use Moses right up until he was 120 years old because Moses was strong and healthy even at that age. Caleb was able to say, give me this mountain at the age of 85 because he was strong and healthy. Take care of that body. Don't let it break down before you pay attention to it. If you find out that when you walk a few miles, you start panting, you need to start exercising. If your back seems to be aching more quickly than before, then maybe your sugar intake is becoming too much. Pay attention to your health now so that you don't run into trouble later. It is advisable to have a comprehensive medical checkup once or twice a year. It is not just when you are feeling sick that you should ask the doctor to examine you. By then, it may be late. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic again for today is In Time of Peace, Prepare for War, Part 3. And God has graciously helped us. We have studied the Part 1 and 2 of the same topic. And when we studied the Part 1 of this topic, our Father and the Lord made us understand that in time of peace, we must prepare for the coming storm. That storm which he said is coming soon is called the rapture. We learned of the story of a boy whose father had him continuously practice how to swim. At first, it seemed like he was being deprived of the opportunity to play with other children until a day came when the storm visited. Of everyone who went for fishing that day, he was the only one who was rescued alive and that was because he was prepared for the storm. So our Father and the Lord asked us the question, when that time comes, talking about the time of rapture, will you be amongst the survivors? Very deep question there. Yesterday also we studied the part 2 of the same topic, where our Father and the Lord emphasized the importance of being spiritually fit. It is fine to have a good physical outlook and a good appearance. However, we must care even more for our spiritual fitness. He who is not spiritually fit cannot stand in the day of the enemy's attack. We read from Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13, which told us to take the whole armor of God, that we may be able to withstand in the evil day. It is this armor of God that makes us withstand the fiery darts of the enemy. It is not under contention if the enemy would attack, as it is only a matter of time, and the question of if we are ready. Praise the Lord. Today we have the privilege to study the part 3 of our topic, which is in the time of peace, prepare for war, part 3. Scripture tells us in 3 John chapter 1 verse 2 that, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. This tells us that it is good our soul prospers, and it should be given good attention. However, it is also his desire that we be in health, hence the need to take care of the bodies that God has gifted us with. Our Father in the Lord tells us rightly today that many do not care about their bodies until they come up with symptoms of ill health. Then they begin to find doctors who will diagnose what is wrong. Unfortunately, in some cases, it may be too late. We cannot be spiritually profitable if we are sick. God needs us to fulfill his mandate. And this is why we must understand also that failure to care for the bodies he has given us can be termed a great offense and even selfishness because the assignments he has committed to us are beyond us. There is a bigger picture. God is counting on us to take care of our bodies so we can do even more for him. Our bodies are the only legal access we have to exist here on earth. Without the bodies in perfect condition, we cannot carry out his assignments, and we would be forced to return to him without excelling at his divine assignments for us. The advice to us today is to eat healthy, engage in physical and bodily exercise as much as is recommended and advisable, and also to carry out comprehensive medical checkups frequently. One other very important issue to give proper attention to is the issue of rest. We live in a very stressful society where you have to be intentional about resting. The lack of rest has led to so many health challenges 
and to even some terrible cases which have led to death. Take out time away from work to rest and relax. Our Lord Jesus shows us a perfect example in Mark chapter 4 verse 38. It says, And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. We receive the grace and enablement today to be good stewards of our bodies and our health in Jesus' name. We'd bow our heads now and pray. We'd say, Father, open my eyes to all that I need to do to maintain good health in the name of Jesus. There may be some practices that we may be engaged in that we may be ignorant about their consequences to our health. Say, Lord, grant me understanding to act as appropriate in the name of Jesus. Ask for the grace to follow through all that is needed to remain healthy, to maintain good eating habits, to do bodily exercises, and also to carry out periodical checks. In Jesus' name, we would also be praying for as many who may be challenged health-wise. Bring such people before the Lord and trust Him that His healing hands would be stretched over them at this moment. Let they receive divine healing even as we pray in the name of Jesus. Let all manner of sicknesses live right now. Let there be replacement of body organs where there is need in the name of Jesus. Let there begin to be spiritual surgical operations. Let all forms of evil medical reports be nullified. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, we thank you for your word today. Thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for desiring our all-round prosperity. We ask today that the grace to live in sound health, you will grant unto us. Today marks an end to struggling with health challenges. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a reflection in our devotional today that tells us, when was the last time you did a comprehensive medical checkup? Praise God. This is important and we are advised today to consider this. We trust God for the grace to adhere in the name of Jesus. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 25 down to chapter 28. Hallelujah. We also want to appreciate you for joining us today again. Thank you for coming around. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. We believe you have been blessed. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. You can also extend this to someone and bless them today by sharing with them. We trust God today for the grace to pay proper attention to our health in the time of peace. In Jesus' name, our hymn for today is the hymn 16 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing... O oh God, our help in ages past. Have a refreshing and amazing day ahead. See you tomorrow again and bye for now. O oh God, our help in ages past. Our hope for years to come Our shelter from the stormy blast And our eternal home Under the shadow of thy throne Thy saints have dwelt secure Sufficient is thy norm alone, and our defense is sure. Before the hills in order stood, all earth received her frame. From everlasting thou art God, to endless years the same. A thousand ages in thy sight are like an evening gone. Short as the watch that ends the night before the rising sun. Time like an ever-rolling stream bears all its sons away. They fly forgotten as a dream dies at the opening day. O 
O God, our help, in ages past, our hope for years to come. Be Thou our God, while troubles last, and our eternal home. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.